like think, ah, cool, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I need to focus on something else because this right now is crushing me. So I had to kind of take my mind somewhere else and think, ah, cool, so if I do that, that's going to take me out of this situation. So I put all my energy into the music, which then eventually took me out of this situation and bettered my life. From your experience, um, has there ever been a time where you've had like a, a major setback and you've had to kind of change your mindset? And, and what were the lessons that you guys learned? We've had major setbacks in our career. Um, like, yeah, I was homeless at a stage. A lot was going on in my life. And we had to kind of bounce back from that, um, get into the music, make it, like, figure out how it all works out. And, yeah, um, basically, that's basically it. Like, yeah. going through that was, for me, took a lot. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of focus and a lot of, like, determination and not being swayed and not, like, letting what's going on around me crumble me. You know what I mean? So. So let me ask you a question off the back of that. Um, you know, I, we all kind of go through times where you have to kind of dig deep. What was it that day? Like, what can you think of that moment where you said, rah, like, nah, I've got to do this? You know what it is? The situation I was in was so crazy. That was the only thing I could do to kind of take my mind off what was going on. Do you know what I mean? Like, think, ah, right, cool, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I need to focus on something else because this right now is crushing me. So I had to kind of take my mind somewhere else and, Think, ah, cool. So if I do that, that's going to take me out of this situation. So I put all my energy into the music, which then eventually took me out of this situation and bettered my life. So, yeah, like, I feel like that was like knowing there's a light at the end of the tunnel, which gave me hope. I feel like hope was a lot to do with the engine force behind it. Like, this hope of me blowing is going to change my life, be able to make every like, do you know what I mean? Take me out of this dark moment that I'm in, so. Yeah, I always say, if your mind can go there, your body will follow. Yeah, no doubt. I'd say even off the back of that, Coming into the music industry, we had a lot of setbacks in terms of doubters. People said, you know, when we're trying to get on radio, they said, nah, they need to add a girl group, girl to make a, a band, and then, yeah, maybe we'll consider playing them, or, you know, they should consider doing presenting or comedy or, like, yeah, not the mute. Like, we had all of that, and that was like, okay, and that we used that as fuel to be like, cool. This is what we're gonna do ourselves without everyone, and we're gonna do this ourselves. And then that was like that pinnacle moment of our first proper successful project, Young Kings. Like that was all built off of the bad, you know, the, the negatives, the the comments, and you know, making wrong decisions. Even musically, like we were putting out songs that we weren't really happy with, but we thought, ah, it will get on radio or this that. So it took us to make those bad decisions to be like, no, nah, this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, and it was like an epiphany. Yeah, no, this is what we're going to do. And then that's what worked. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, off the back of just the, the, that, that moment where it was like, yeah, we're going to take this seriously. It took those bad decisions, those negative doubters, the people that used to say stuff, just X, Y, Z, and we took that all and was able to deliver a, a project that broke a Guinness World Record, bro. do you know what I mean? So, nice. yeah. Thank you for sharing that. No, no doubt, bro. Nice.